Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. And today we are continuing our R2 build. We have our parts right here. We have our magazine right here. This looks like uh, more exterior details and some electronics. I'm not sure what's all in here, so let's just crack it open and see what we got. And here are the parts we get with this issue and quite a lot of parts this time around. We have the right tool compartment door and the right tool compartment itself. We have the center tool compartment door and the center tool compartment. We also have the front housing. We've got the acoustic signaler grill, the system ventilation grill, the sensor housing. We have an ultrasonic transmitter, an ultrasonic receiver, and a series of hinges along with a whole bunch of screws. Uh, on the transmitter and receiver, it's important to note these things look almost identical but uh, it's very hard to see. There is a little letter T on the transmitter and a little letter R on the receiver, so make sure that we don't get these mixed up. All right, first up, we're gonna assemble the right tool compartment. So you'll need the door and the compartment itself along with this hinge. You'll also need one of the uh, 15 millimeter screws, these longer, thinner black ones, and a 2.3 millimeter by six millimeter uh, black screw. So it's a little bit fatter than the 15 millimeter one. And to begin, we're gonna take the hinge. I'm gonna slide that hinge in just like this. And we're going to go ahead and take the 15 millimeter screw here and we're just going to slide this puppy in and through and screw it in place all right so make sure it's tight but uh loose now we're going to take this i'm going to slide it in and if you take a look down there there's a, you can see the hole down the bottom and that's what this peg is going to go into and then we just put the six millimeter screw in through the bottom. All right, when all is said and done, the uh, door should close properly. All right, now we're gonna assemble the central tool compartment here. So we're gonna need the compartment, the door, and the remaining two hinges. And now we're gonna need two of these uh, nine millimeter screws and two more of the uh, thicker six millimeter screws. First thing we're gonna do is put the hinges on the door and these are gonna line up right on these tabs here uh, on the outside, just like this, uh, outside of this one as well. And we're gonna use the nine millimeter screws to hold them in place, going through the hinge first. All right, and with the hinges attached and uh, moving freely, take the uh, compartment itself and you can see there are two places right for those hinges so we're going to slide those in and then use the six millimeter screws to hold them in place and with everything in place we have yet another functioning door all right next up we're going to attach these compartments to the uh, central panel here and uh, it's pretty obvious where they go. The right one goes there. The center tool compartment goes here. Uh, there are two pegs on the bottom. that will slide into those two holes there. And these slots here are for the screws that we put in for the hinges. And the same thing goes over here. We've got two holes for the screw bases here and a cutout right there for the screw base. So we'll just slide it in and we'll use the six millimeter screws to hold it in place. All right, and with those attached, uh, you can see we've got two com compartments, both open and closed just fine. Uh, this one, no matter what I do, keeps popping open a little bit, and I'm not sure exactly how to fix that. But other than that, it's uh, looking quite nice. All right, for the uh, last bit here, we're gonna take uh, the housing here. We're gonna take these grills. We're gonna start with 
this one that uh, you can see one's got uh, four slats and one only has three. We're gonna take the one with three slats and we're gonna place it in the housing and the housing should be oriented like this with the cutouts towards the lower part of the rings. The housing with three slats is going to slide in to the bottom one and you can tell uh, because of the angles uh, the direction that it needs to be oriented so we'll just throw it in there like that and we'll use uh, two more of the six millimeter screws to hold it in place all right and then we will repeat that for the other grill and we'll just go in just like this and two more six millimeter screws all right look at that all right, next up, we're going to take the uh, transmitter and receiver. We're gonna put them into this housing. Notice that these are facing up. Uh, that is the correct orientation. We'll start with the transmitter. Uh, let's see, is this the transmitter? Yes, okay, it's the one with the T on the sensor there. And we'll undo this. We'll slide through the top just like this and we will push it in all the way until it's flush just like so and we will repeat that for the receiver on the bottom all right and with these in place we will take this assembly uh, with the grill with three slats facing upwards and we will slide this in so the transmitter is where the grill with three slats is just like that and we will take one of the six millimeter flanged screws and that's going to go right in there ah look at that now let's see if we can't test them oh righty then to test this, we'll bring out the circuit board uh, that we've used in the previous issues, and we're gonna connect these sensors to the board. Right here is where the transmitter goes in, and here is where the receiver goes in. We've powered it on already, and you can see there's a red light on the board there. And if something blocks those sensors, we should see a yellow light show up on this board. And you can see that there it is. We clear, and the yellow light goes away. And that is how we know those sensors are working. All right, and now that we have uh, fully tested our sensors, we can throw them onto the frame here, the panel. Uh, we'll do it this way with the three slats up top, the transmitters up top. We'll just feed these things through and allow it to settle into place just like that. And on the reverse side, you can see there are four holes and that is where four of those six millimeter flanged screws are gonna go. All right, and with all those screws in, uh, take a look at that. That just looks great. And there you go, that actually completes stage 82 here and uh, quite a bit of progress here on this uh, central plating here. Um, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, it looks like we're getting closer and closer and closer to the end, and I just can't wait to see how everything works. Uh, if you liked the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.